Our next guest, well, she made history as the first plus size model to walk in two New York Fashion Week straight size so shows. And she also serves as the face of countless brands, including Forever 21, Levi's, Target, Macy's, and Kohl's. Here wow. to discuss how she's changing the way women feel about their bodies one picture at a time is international plus size model Denise Badeau. Welcome. Hello. Hi. Good Thank to you have for having you here. Me. Good to have you and the curbs here. Yeah. Nice. Oh, thanks. <laughs> So, so go ahead. I was gonna say, when did you know you wanted to be a model? Well, it's funny because I actually started out wanting to do acting. Uh, very early on, I knew I wanted to be a part of this industry. I just had no idea what lane I would take. And I moved to California at 18 years old and kept getting told, oh, you're beautiful, you're so good, but you're curvy and you can't be a leading lady. You're the best friend's body type, but mm. too much spunk. So it was a really hard road for me. I couldn't figure out where I fit in and it was just a lot of no's. So I decided to take the back road and figured I loved this industry enough to do makeup. I started doing makeup and I got discovered pretty quickly. Well, when you were hearing all those no's, how did you get past that and stay focused on wanting to be a model? Well, it's I, it was acting at the time and I remember mm -hmm. when I, I knew I, I was passionate about this business. I mean, it was it's just a matter of finding myself, I guess, throughout it. I had a good acting coach when I was younger, and he used to always tell us, no matter what you do or how bad you want the job, always say next. He'd, and he'd be like, walk out of them, just say next. And so I remember I would say that. And you know, so many times I get, got told, lose weight or do this or do that. And I just knew that I wanted to be a part of this industry as myself. I didn't want to change who I was mm. to fit in. And thankfully enough, eight years later, the industry has found a way to fit into who I am now, and it's been a it's been a blessing to be completely honest. You know, some models do some very scary things to be thin. Some actresses mm -hmm. also. What prevented you, for you from doing that to yourself, and what made you decide that you were going to be comfortable enough in your own skin to pursue your career at this size? Well, I actually grew up with a single mother, mm -hmm. and she struggled with her weight growing up. Okay. While I was growing up, I mean, she fluctuated from a size two to a size twenty-two, and she's five three, so you, that was a pretty big change. And I remember it didn't matter to me what, as I was growing up, what size she fit in. She was just as beautiful. I think that was what I learned and I got from all of her struggles. Mm. It was just, she's my mom. Right. And no matter how much she struggled with it, I just would look at her and be like, you're perfect. Mm. I don't want to go through that. I don't want to live my life being unhappy or waiting for something to change to find my happiness when I'm perfect just as I was made. And so I feel like it just happened to fall into this industry with, you know, my life story and it worked out perfect. It was like the perfect blend of everything. And mm. now, women, I'm helping women out here, you know, prove that you don't have to change who you are. You can be curvy mm -hmm. and fabulous and confident all at the same time. <laughs> well, circle back to how you were discovered. I want to hear that story. Well, I was actually doing makeup for a plus size model. I remember I met a plus size model. I did a segment on the Tyra Banks show years ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she was talking about body empowerment. I just kind of went on boldly like, I'm tired of apologizing for my size. And I met a plus size model there who was also on the segment. And she asked me to do her makeup because I was doing makeup and I was trying to hustle and network and I was like I'll do your makeup totally I had no idea the industry existed and the photographer who was shooting her was like have you ever thought of it you should shoot with me I, I literally said no for almost a month I was like I don't get it I'm not tall I'm not skinny what is she talking about and I shot with her she posted them on a bulletin board and I never did makeup again really? I was at the right place at the right time and it was like that perfect that really wow. happened I know right and it was like that moment in my life where I wasn't sure where I was going or what I was going to do either and so it just it played out perfectly so wow. take us to that moment that you step on the runway mm -hmm. What is that like for you? Imagine, I came from not ever thinking modeling would be a career for myself Why? to, I did two shows for New York Fashion Week. One I did for Chromat, which is a brand that designs for Beyonce and Madonna and these amazing conceptual architectural pieces. Mm -hmm. So it was very different from anything I've ever worn in a catalog. Yeah, I mean, that corset was cute, but you yeah. can't walk around in that every day. And it was this big case yeah. piece, and I was opening in these like seven platforms, and I just kept thinking, please don't fall, please don't fall. Oh, you have like the whole industry on your back here, mm. and it was just such a huge moment, and people reacted so positively to it that it's been impeccable. And then after that, I got a call from Serena Williams people, and they were like, hey, would you like to be a part of our show? And I was like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening right now. And she had me be the only plus size model to walk her show, and I closed it. Which I is thought, a huge Honor. Which yeah. I thought was, you know, amazing. Yeah. And then I hear as we're backstage getting ready, they're like, oh my God, Anna's here. And I'm like, no. <laughs> and Anna Winter sat in that front row and I thought I was going to die because. Anna Winter. Wow. From it, Vogue. From Vogue. Sat at in the, the show row. in the front row Looking and you're in, walking wow. down the catwalk. And clapped, which was, a, I mean, I didn't know she could clap. I, I, I've never seen her. I didn't, the fact uh, that she even looked at me and acknowledged me was huge. So for uh -huh. her to clap for me, this little, you know, Latina curvy girl, it was everything. Wow, must be a dream come true. Yeah, <laughs> a dream I didn't even know I had until mm. thankfully everything played out well. So wow. what's next for you? Do you plan to circle? 
circle back to acting? I would love to. Ideally, mm -hmm. um, that's what I would love to do. Uh, mm -hmm. We're in talks right now. I've had a couple of really great projects with HBO that I've done and with Yahoo. And so hopefully, if everything works out well, which I, I plan on it, you know, you just got to do things with the right attitude and treat people with respect. And hopefully, mm -hmm. I will continue in this business. And really quickly, what advice do you give to young girls who may be struggling with their own self-esteem regarding mm -hmm. their appearance? I think it's really important to stay authentic and to stay who you are and mm -hmm. to not let what people say of you kind of change how you feel about yourself. Yeah. I think it has to start from the inside. Everything else, your beauty is determined on how awesome your eyes are, how beautiful your spunkiness, your character, your spirit is. And so everything else falls into place when you feel good about yourself. I love Great it. Great advice. Yeah. Thank you so much Thank for stopping you. by. Thank, Thank you. So much. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. We'll see you on the catwalk. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back with more Rise Entertainment 360.